Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you the exact steps you need to take if the slide numbers in your PowerPoint presentations aren't displaying correctly or aren't displaying at all. Hi, my name is Camille Holden and I'm a PowerPoint expert and coach. I help busy professionals save hours and gain peace of mind by helping them master the software that they use every day rather than letting the software be the master of them. Now, if you've been using PowerPoint for years and still sometimes struggle to get those slide numbers to show up correctly, please don't be embarrassed. This is a common issue and there are a lot of moving parts to get it right. So it's okay if you feel stumped. I'm here to show you exactly what to do. So the first solution I like to try when getting my slide numbers back onto my presentation is to go to the reset command. Now, if I move on to slide number three, you'll notice that the slide number is gone here, so it is missing. The first thing I like to do, again, is go to the Home tab and click on this little reset button. Now, you'll notice I'm clicking on it, nothing happens. Normally, the slide number should pop back in, but sometimes it doesn't always work. So, the second solution I try after this is I go up to the Insert tab and then I go find header and footer and I click on it to open the header and footer dialog box. This is where you can determine the date and time formatting, the slide number, uh, whether it appears or not, and the content of the footer uh, on each one of these slides, and you can also apply it to all the slides in the presentation. Um, so here I would go and I would select slide number. You'll notice it was unselected, which is why it's missing. And then I would actually just go ahead and hit apply to all to make sure that formatting selection is applied to all of the slides. Now you'll notice that it didn't actually appear here. So we still have an issue here with getting slide numbers to show up. So to go to the Slide Master view, we just need to go up to the View tab and then click on Slide Master. This is where we can edit, format, make any changes to the template that is underlying, uh, that is underpinning the entire presentation. Now be careful, if this is your corporate template, you may not want to or are allowed to make changes to this, but I'm just gonna point this out so you know exactly where to go. So you'll notice here on the parent layout, which sort of determines the generic formatting for the rest of the child layouts, you'll notice that there is a slide number placeholder here. You can't really see it because it's white text on white uh, background, but that is essentially what this is. So this is telling us that we want the slide number to appear here and in this way for the rest of the child layouts. Now you can deviate away from it. So like the title slide, right, doesn't need a slide number, so it's not here. The divider slide maybe doesn't need a slide number either, so we don't have one here. But in the rest of the layouts, that um, slide number placeholder appears here and here in the same place that we set at the very top. Now if you'll notice for this layout, uh-oh, it was deleted, right? So it's missing. The question is how do we get it back? The easiest way is to simply go up here and select footers. If you click on footers and everything is formatted correctly, they should just pop back into place exactly the way they're set up here on the parent layout. So that is the first solution. If we close this, go back to this layout and hit reset. Oh, we'll notice it's not working either. So again, now what happens if we go to insert, header and footer, slide number, you'll notice all these are grayed out because uh, it was, um, uh, we'll take off the date and time, because it was set on the slide master. Now you reapply it, boom, it pops up correctly. So that is the second place to look um, to make sure that everything is formatted correctly. Now, one other thing I wanna point out is if the slide number appeared, but it's not formatted correctly. Let's see what might've happened in the slide master view. In the slide master view, sometimes what happens is people don't realize that this is the place where you need to make most of the changes to the formatting of the slide master, uh, of the um, slide number, excuse me. But let's just say you decide, oh, actually I want these to say, uh, you know, uh, maybe it needs to say slide number. Maybe we actually want to move this here, right? And we want to type in front of it, slide number. Slide number X, Y, Z. Uh, we're going to delete this. We make all these changes, right? Make all these changes. And then, uh, you know, we forget that it needs to be done on all of these. Or what you need to do is actually set it here on the parent layout. So this is something that you need to check side by side to make sure that the formatting you've set in one place is carried throughout the rest of it. If you make changes to this, right, and then you make changes to this, um, let's just say you change the color. Well, this is not is, is going to keep the color, but any other formatting changes you make to it won't necessarily automatically adjust. Let's say you type this and you say, uh, you know, page, you want this to be page number. If you go back to this one, it does not get applied to this. What you need to do is you need to remove the footers and then reapply them. 
So that, that is what you need to do in order to make sure that everything you set here applies throughout the rest of the template. So once the, you know you start making these changes, there's some finicky things you need to do um, that it gets a little bit weird. And you know if you hit the reset button, it looks like already the slide number was um, was carried over. But like this one, for example, yeah. So you'll notice again the blue color was uh, appropriately placed here, um, and so everything has correctly adjusted. If if it doesn't adjust. Um, what I often like to do is I first like to go, let's just say it stayed white for some reason, and this will happen. It's, it's not always clear why it happens this way. So I just want to show all the things that might go wrong. I would go back to the header and footer dialog box and I would just remove all the footers, right? And then I go back and I insert them again. Uh, let's not do date and time, apply to all, and then it should pull correctly from the layout. Uh, that it's using here in the slide master. So those are all the areas you need to check, um, but hopefully your template is built correctly. You just hit the reset button, it works, or you go to insert tab, header and footer, and you reapply the slide layout number and it works throughout the, the template. But if not, you need to go into the slide master and take a look, see what's going on there and see how you can fix it. So that's how you get your slide numbers to show up and show up correctly on your PowerPoint slides. Now that you know where to go to turn them on, turn them off, format them, the next time they don't show up correctly on your slides, you'll know exactly where to look. Now, if you found this video helpful, please leave a comment in the area down below and give it a thumbs up to let us know you enjoyed it. For more videos like these, please subscribe to the ASAP YouTube channel. And for more PowerPoint tips and tricks, head on over to my YouTube channel at Nuts and Bolts Speed Training. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.